VDefense Security Intelligence provides visibility into the flows within your data center, empowering you with insights to monitor, analyze, and secure your network traffic, ensuring the integrity and protection of your workloads. Security Intelligence provides a comprehensive dashboard that allows you to see recommendations, suspicious traffic detectors, security posture, flow trends, and more. In the Flow Insights tab, we can see top rules, allowed and blocked rules, flows associated by groups, along with Layer 7 App ID flows. This gives broad-based visibility into your vDefense security policy and how often it is utilized. In the Security Intelligence Visualization page, we can focus on a set of workloads associated to a pre-existing NSX group. We can now see all flows between the workloads in the group. Now let's switch to viewing flows based on computes. This view focuses on the individual workloads and their flows without grouping or clustering being taken into consideration. Let's click on a green flow which indicates it is allowed. We get individual flow information like firewall rules in effect, pack accounts, and more. Now let's click on a blue line which represents a block flow. We can see exactly what rule in the DFW is blocking this flow, along with other detailed information. A dashed red line is an unprotected flow that is hitting the default layer 3 allow any 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 rule. We can also see in some of the flows layer 7 app ID information that helps you verify the payload being sent in the flow. Filtering can be used to focus our attention on all London prod workload flows. We can include or exclude flows based on app ID, destination port, and much more. If we go back in our history of flow data, we see suspicious traffic between these two workloads. We can dig in deeper and gather information as to why the flow is considered potentially malicious. Security intelligence allows you to use different criteria to cluster workloads together for easier flow analysis. We can show clusters by flows, labels, names, and tags. Here, we will create a new label called Explore and apply it to a few workloads. Labels are visualization objects and are different from NSX groups used for policy creation. Once we assign the label, we can now see the display separate those workloads by the new label called Explore. If we cluster by names, Security Intelligence will analyze the workload names and associate workloads into clusters that are closely related. Finally, we can cluster workloads by how they are tagged. We can see workloads clustered by the Europe and US tags associated with these workloads. Let's shift our focus to the pal.prod.hr application. We can see all the flows associated with the three workloads along with layer seven information about the flows like HTTP, HTTPS, MySQL, and DNS. Let's highlight the three pal.prod.hr workloads and start a recommendation. Security Intelligence will analyze the flows and make distributed firewall rule recommendations. We can set the name of the recommendation, time range, traffic to analyze, and much more. We can also exclude traffic like multicast and broadcast, as well as user-defined flows. Once we have all our options set, we will start the discovery process. When the analysis is done, we can review what Security Intelligence has recommended. Security Intelligence has not only made rule recommendations, but also recommended new groups for the workloads to be associated to. We can click into each group so we can review what workloads will be associated to them once they are created. 
Renaming the rules is also an option if the default name does not meet your requirements. Here we rename all three rules to more friendly versions for easier operational information gathering later. We also have the option to rename the groups as well. These new names will match the workload functionality to make it easier on the operations team. Once we are happy with everything, we can promote the rule to the distributed firewall. We can choose where the policy and rules will be added. We can place it between current policies or just add it to the top. With vDefense Security Intelligence, you gain the actionable insights and proactive monitoring needed to stay ahead of threats and safeguard your data center's most valuable assets, putting you in full control of your security landscape.